so they asked me to do to take this test. I took this test, and uh, when the results came out, basically in the way that was presented to me it was times up. You know, and uh, I was like, what? Uh, I was two years earlier. Right? I'm 49 now. I was 47. I was like, what do you mean? And they say, maybe it's too late for you. And I was like, what? Well, you see, I, I didn't, I didn't know any, any. Uh, readings. I didn't understand anything because I, I didn't feel anything. I even though I was obese, I felt full of energy, and uh, this is a silence illness. And this is what is really dramatic and scary. People don't know what they're having. It's like a ticking bomb, right? So uh, when they dropped the bomb and they explained me that uh, I had uh, gone through uh, NAFLD, uh, NAFLD, you know. Uh, which, you know, as well, this is uh, pre-NASH, right? So it, it triggers chronic uh, deterioration of the liver, you know, it affects the performance. I got diabetes, I had hypertension, I had all kinds of comorbidities, and uh, plus inflammation of my liver, you know, then they they drop on me that I have uh, a NASH. Uh, I didn't know exactly uh, all this, you know, I had heard about it, uh, but you know, something very far away. And uh, and then they said, okay, Nash is a stage, is this a stage, this a stage, this a stage, and you are at the end of the stage. And then it hit me, you know. And then um, then I then they did me this fibro scan, and and I oh, obviously I'm very curious, and uh, and I start reading about it, and it was very for me, you know, it was very out of in the darkness and, and you are a patient you are you are reading how how many days do i have left how many how much time do i have left you right out of that darkness out of that desolation there is a pragmatic reading for me you know what is this stage and what is expected and from what uh, person i mean you from what K C A P you know you you could be in this stage. That for me, that terminology was so helpful because it helped me educate and manage my own liver disease. You don't need to lose weight. You need to lose fat. You know, from my perspective, you need to lose the fat that is in your body because you can lose weight by going to the sauna and you lose some water, right? Or you can dehydrate. You, what you need to lose is fat. And how can you lose fat? The, and, and what fat? The fat that is the storage in your liver. And how do I know that that fat is the storage in my liver? Well, through the fastest, non-invasive, most faster way that I've seen in my own experience is through fiber scan. You know, I mean, it's out there, you know, so I really believe that everybody should be tested ASAP so they can really uh, manage the lifestyle is is simple. I mean, for me now that I've been through it, there's no other way. Twenty point nine could mean nothing if you don't understand the terminology, right? So once the terminology was understood by me, I I obviously went to my doctor and I said, please, I I need this to be double check. I I I don't I cannot accept to be in an end of a stage. And then they explain me silent disease, all of these things, all the warnings that I have had, but I, they, I didn't react until then. And then uh, they, I, I asked the doctor, what could I do in order to improve this reading? And they said, it doesn't work like that, you know, but what you could do is change your lifestyles and your habits. And then uh, they asked me if I, uh, if I would, uh, commit for that, you know, uh, with with uh, the assignment nutritionist in the hospital. After six months, they did another fiber scan test, and it started to to show improvements. Okay, and from from a point where I was supposed to be uh, end of a stage, non reversible, uh, it was even considered that maybe. They, they, they didn't know to know in what point I was, if I was going to decompensate or not, you know. So I got a, I got to see the light in the end of the tunnel. You need to be 
measurable, right? In order to manage something, it needs to be measurable. So you are very precise with your cap. You are giving time to make a readjustment figure, and uh, without in invasive, you know, an invasive exam that it does not hurt you. It's not painful. You know, we're all afraid of uh, being painful, right? That this is helping redefine life, redefine time. I think. Uh, Everybody will get will will want to test themselves for sure.